In 2021, the U.S. defense budget surpassed super billion dollars, more than the next nine largest military powers combined. Therefore, it is not surprising that America, with such a huge budget, has created the world's most advanced war machine. One such example is their newest aircraft carrier which costs around $13.3 billion. The construction of this aircraft carrier took a long time so that five years after it was inaugurated, the USS Ford was still not fully ready for battle. In addition, the $1.7 trillion F-35 fighter program is still in the spotlight. Recently, the U.S. Air Force suspended its entire fighter fleet due to ejection seat damage. Despite that, several American war machines are currently being used in Ukraine, such as Javelin anti-tank missiles, howitzer artillery guns, and drones such as pocket knife ammunition being tested in California. The cost of America's latest warfare technology can run into the trillions of dollars, but let's take a closer look at the true cost of a 40,000-pound underwater bomb. This bomb was only tested before the U.S. Navy's largest and most expensive aircraft carrier, the USS Gerald or Ford, was declared ready for battle. The carrier is the first of a new class with greater firepower and a smaller crew than the previous class. USS Gerald or Ford entered service in 1975. Delaying, testing, and repairing new technology is very expensive, so each new technology exceeds the budget of the other two technologies. What differentiates the Ford from other carriers is its aircraft takeoff and landing system. Some of these systems are very large. You know, no additional changes, but I would say that there are revolutionary changes when it comes to the electromagnetic launch system. Other operators used steam-driven catapults to propel their jets from the decks, but Ford used electromagnetic linear induction motors similar to high-speed maglev trains or roller coasters. Just research and design on the electromagnetic aircraft launch system cost over $1 billion. Installing it on the USS Ford cost more than twice as much as it should have. The steam catapult system has thousands of moving parts, whereas in the electromagnetic catapult, there are less than a hundred moving parts. This is a big improvement. Fewer moving parts means fewer seafarers to operate and maintain. Smaller crews and new technology are projected to save $4 billion over a 50-year time frame compared to previous class carriers. The new system causes less stress on the planes so they last longer. A wider variety of aircraft can use it, including those still designed to land and take off more easily. Pilots also feel safer because computers do the work previously done by pilots. The computer itself flew the plane onto the deck of the carrier and then when the plane hit the advanced holding gear it smoothly brought it to a stop. This is... Ford's computerized systems allow lighter and heavier aircraft to take off and land more smoothly. This limits the older carriers. The combination of Ford's new technology means that a wider variety of aircraft can land on it more easily. Investment in aircraft is our goal here for the future of naval aviation flying drones and F-35 fighter aircraft. However, the new launch system cannot handle the latest fighters, so Ford will need a retrofit to handle the F-35 stealth fighter. The next Ford-class carrier is being built at the shipyard, but is already being modified for the F-35 at an additional cost of $315 million. Many of Ford's delays can be traced back to the politics of five American presidents over two decades. Ford planning and building, the Department of Defense made the aircraft carrier program much more expensive than it otherwise would have been. The actual cost to build this ship was $13.3 billion and the figure has increased almost every year since construction began. Even the most basic functions on ships can be very expensive. This ship has 750 toilets connected via that vacuum pressure like the system on commercial jets. 
When one toilet is clogged, the entire system can be affected and the repair requires $400,000 acid flush. The Navy said it didn't know how often that would need to be done. The Navy changed its shipbuilding program when the Ford problem arose. He began designing and testing ground takeoff systems in 2011 while Ford was being built. Sophisticated weapon elevators are also wiped. The advanced F-35 Lightning II 2022 fighter is the latest innovation in fighter technology that has been flying for 16 years since its inaugural flight. Even so, the high cost could hamper plans to build nearly 2,000 more F-35 aircraft. In addition, there are still some problems that need to be addressed and the cost of operating the aircraft and flights is too expensive. An F-35 in the air costs about $35,000 every hour, compared to about $22,000 for the older F-16. However, the advances in aircraft technology are well worth the money. We visit Hill Air Force Base in Utah to find out how this aircraft became the largest weapons program in American history.